Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at running stretches for beginners. Hi everybody, my name is Steve, I'm a UK Athletics running coach and level 3 personal trainer. If you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe, not forgetting to hit the bell icon to make sure that you don't miss a single episode. After each of your runs, it's really important to get some good quality stretches done. These are going to help to reset your muscles back to a good lengthened position to enable you to recover from that run and get ready for your next session. Important point to remember, you often see people doing static stretches, those still stretches before a run, and it's always best to not do them before a run, but to do them after a run. The reason why we don't do them before a run is because the muscles are still very cold, they're not that willing to stretch, and you're not really gonna really get any good from that. However, after a run, when we're looking to reset the muscles, the muscles are nice and warm, they're nice and supple, they're full of blood from the run that you've just done, and then is the perfect time to get these stretches done. So I'm now gonna take you through some of the basic stretches which you all should be doing after you run, so let's get to it. So the first stretch we're going to do is going to be the calves, bottom of the leg here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put yourself up against a wall, keep yourself nice and tall, and I'm going to be stretching the left leg here. I'm going to place that leg back, aiming to put the heel flat on the floor. Okay, now what I'm not doing here is sticking my butt out. I'm keeping myself nice and straight from shoulder all the way down through to the heel. This foot here is for support, and so you're going to push forward, leaving that back heel on the floor. Okay, you should feel the stretch in the top part of the calf, okay, which is the gastrocnemius part of the calf. And we're going to hold this stretch here for about 20 to 30 seconds. And the next part of the calf we're going to stretch is the lower part of the calf, which is the soleus muscle down the bottom, which goes quite deep into the Achilles area. Okay, and to do that stretch is very similar. Put yourself against the wall again, feet slightly stagger, but this time we're going to bend that back knee down like that. Once you feel it's sort of reached the end of his travel day, I'm going to push the hips forward and lean into the wall like that. Now this time you're going to feel the stretch in the soleus part of the muscle. And again, we're going to hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, the next stretch we're going to move on to is going to be the quads or the thigh muscles. Okay, to do that, again, you're going to need to find a wall, something solid to get some balance and stability. Because you've been for a run, you're probably going to be quite tired. So hold onto that wall for stability. You're going to grab the laces part of the shoe. Okay, and then pull the knees back together again. So lace this part of the shoe, knees back together again, and again a nice straight posture. My knees not out in front, it's not out way behind, and knees are back together, and we're aiming to get the heel in towards your butt. Okay? And again, we're going to hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. If you wanted to increase the stretch, if you were able to get your heel on your butt and you want to increase the stretch further, you could push your hips forward, and that is again going to increase the stretch. Okay, the next stretch we're going to move on to is the inner thigh or the adductors. Okay, so to do that, take a nice wide stance and then lean over to the side. Keep yourself nice and straight on top and you'll feel the stretch down this inside part of the leg. Okay, and again we're going to hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. Bring yourself back up and swap sides. And back up. Again, 20 to 30 seconds, repeat a few times on each side. You feel a nice deep stretch inside there. Okay, now we're going to stretch the upper part of the body. This is often quite a neglected part of stretches that runners do. They think all about the legs, which is important, but you are using the top half of your body when you run, and that's going to get just as tired and just as, just as in need for a good stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing our sides, our lats, on the side of the body. To do that, simply reach up in ahead of your body there like that, all the way at the top, okay? Nice and straight. And once you've got that position there, simply lean over to the side. And you'll feel a lovely stretch down the side of the lats here. Remembering not to lean forward or to lean back, but keep yourself nice and straight as you go over. 20 to 30 seconds, and then switch sides to the opposite side. Keeping your arms nice and extended out ahead of, uh, above your head. Next thing we're going to stretch is going to be our chest. And to do that, take the, your palms of your hand, place them in the small of your back, and then try and squeeze your elbows together. You'll not do that, but that's what we're aiming to do. Move those elbows closer together, and you'll see your chest really gets pulled out in front. And again, we're gonna hold that for a good 20 to 30 seconds. Relax, and then repeat. Okay, 
Okay, and the next stretch we're going to do is going to be the, uh, our back muscles in between the shoulder blades, which are used when we're driving our arms when we run. And for that, quite simply, take your hands, lock your hands together and push them out in front and then put that curve into your back. You're trying to pull your shoulder blades apart. So we really push them out like that. And again, we're going to hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. And relax. And then repeat. Okay, the next stretch we're going to do is going to be the glute max. Okay, your glute max has just took a, a bit of a pounding on the roads outside, so now we're going to give it a good stretch. Sit yourself down in a nice comfortable position. I like to have a back against a wall. I'm going to stretch my left glute. Okay, so I'm going to lift my leg, left leg over the right leg. I'm going to grab hold of my knee and I'm going to pull it into the chest. I'm trying to go for an angle up towards the opposite shoulder. So I'm pulling it across like that. I'm going to grab hold of it and really pull it in and you'll feel a nice stretch in that glute there. Give you a slightly different angle on that. So you pull it in, a nice stretch. If you want to increase the stretch, what you can do is take this hand, put it around behind you, and twist your upper body away from the stretch like that. So you get a lovely stretch deep inside there. And again, as per standard, give it a good 20 seconds or so. We'll hold that there. And then relax. And then repeat. And then you swap sides. Put that leg over, grab hold of the knee, pull it in nice and tight, feel deep inside there, twist the body, and that's a nice deep stretch there. The next stretch we're going to look at is going to be the hip flexors, which run from the top of the thigh up into the pelvis, which is when you're driving your knees forward. You quite often see people doing this, where you're in a that sort of one knee position, and then they'll push everything forward, and you feel the stretch there. Now that does get in there a little bit, but it also puts a bit of strain on your lower back. So the, the better way to do it is to take that same starting position, okay, but rather than push everything forward, place your hands on your hips, and imagine your pelvis was a bucket of water, and you want to tip the water out the back of, your, of the bucket. So you're tipping the pelvis back and pushing it forward, so tucking the tailbone under. And what you'll then feel is a nice stretch at the top of the thigh, but I don't have that arch in the back now. So a nice stretch there. Hold that for a good 10 seconds and release and repeat. It's getting deep into that hip flexor muscle there. And relax and repeat. Aim to do about 10 per side, building up to 15 or something like that. But also at that moment of pushing forward, give a good squeeze behind, really contract your glute max. It's really going to push the pelvis into that um, position there, that, that tilted position. And relax. And you'd Obviously, repeat on the other side. Okay, and the final stretch we're going to do is going to be for your shin muscles, the anterior tibialis muscle. Okay, to do that, put yourself on your knees, but put your feet flat on the floor so they're not toe tucked under. Feet flat on the floor, and just sit back on your heels. Okay, so it's now pushing your butt into your heels there, it's flattening the feet out. And then simply so place your hands behind you and lean back. Okay, and that's going to get a good pull on the shin muscle. If you want to increase the stretch, just lean back further and pull the knees up off the floor a little bit. And you get a nice stretch all the way down that part of the shin.